Right. So we have Otto Warren versus Anthony Joshua. Now, seeing the press conference, uh, out of everyone on the table, Joshua was the one that was you know, irritated, if I'm honest with you. Um, he looked like he just won that small there and then. Now, obviously, there's a history with Jerome Miller being up there, uh, which I want to kind of dive in a little bit. Um, see what my problem is. If I was Joshua or Hearn, I'd be like, listen, mate, you had your chance, you got caught busted with three banned substances in your body. Don't talk in it. Nobody, like, you, 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 you're lucky to be here. Yeah? You've squirmed, like, see, you've squirmed your way back here, but yeah, let's just keep it 100. You are drugs to me. Yeah? Um, yeah, that's it. Just, 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 just rip, it, rip it into him. Now, you got, um, what else you got? You got, uh, um, yeah, Otto Wallen saying about Joshua. Obviously, he, he was there. He was past his peak um, back in 2018. Over the, since then, he's been on a decline, which I totally have to disagree. Uh, Joshua obviously was more of a wrecking ball, um, but he had a lot of flaws in his, in his, um, in his defense. I've always said back then, this is 2018, so I think it was just after when he beat Klitschko, if I come on four. I've always said back that Joshua, prior to Andy Ruiz, was very beatable. Like even I would say, even for Tyson Fury back then. The Joshua that we see today, and, and he still has the old, just the old trace about him, is a problem. Yeah, he is a problem. Obviously, the only problem is with Joshua, is it's more of a, what's in between his ears. Yeah, what's what's his what's his um what's his mind mindset right? Is he mentally shot? Yeah, all of those questions at the blow said I generally I generally believe he's on the comeback. Um he's doing like I said, he's doing all the right things, but to clearly see he's more he's more um agging, if I can say that. He's more agging like he's, he's just on the smoke, he's just on the, you can see he's just on the smoke. But we just need to, that to transcend in the ring. So the energy that Joshua's coming with, you make sure you get Otto Wallen out there quick and early. Give him that, get that, make a statement for all the other heavyweights. Do something what Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury with life and death with Otto Wallen. So you go in there, you put the business on him, yeah? You try to do the whole boxing thing and all that kind of stuff there, then it's kind of like, yeah, don't get twisted. Of course you're going to have to fight this set of traps. We're going in there, say going in there, and it's pure dominate, man. Like, no, nah. you know yourself, you're better than that. But you definitely need to uh, make a statement. Yeah. Uh, I'll get onto the whole Jarrell Miller, but with Jarrell Miller, no, nobody want to hear from you. Nobody wants to hear from you. Yeah. And like I said, it's a couple of these people here yeah, giving someone like him here yeah, all they need that time of day shows what kind of individuals that you are. Yeah, I'm talking about all platforms. I'm talking about all platforms. Yeah. Giving someone like him that type of that giving him you know what what people do for like money and that. It is what it is. But yeah, um yeah, so it's a good fight. Let's see what happens. And yeah, until the next one stay